What it do, what it do, what it do. Well, what's up, gang? You already know who it is. It's your boy Raheem with Raheem Reaction. And today, guys, we're going to be checking out this video from my boy, uh, urban legend Will Evans with Is Drake Extorted by Tupac Estate for Using AI to Diss Kendrick Lamar? With that being said, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you hit that notification button to be part of that notification gang. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section. So let's get it. Let's see this breakdown. It's being reported that Tupac's estate wants a quote, informal negotiation in order to establish a payment that Drake can make to their estate based on him using Tupac's voice for the AI diss track mm. Taylor made. I also have Suge Knight reacting to this. He called home from jail and he spoke about the situation, spoke about how he felt about Drake using Tupac's voice to diss Kendrick Lamar. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. I got this report for you guys and we gonna sure get into it. Urban Legend will let you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Now let's get this started, man. Kendrick Lamar started all this when he claimed that Drake sent the cease and desist for the Like That record. Which now, he this did. goes all the way back to that first song, you guys. It says in the article that um, an email has purportedly confirmed an allegation made by Kendrick Lamar on his diss track, Euphoria. The former top dog artist accused Drake of trying to interfere uh, interfere with future and Metro Boomin' smash hit Like That, uh, mm -hmm. which, fem which uh, features K-Dot. Mm -hmm. This is the quote. It says, try a cease and desist on a Like That record. Oh, what? You ain't like that record? Back, back to, to back, back, I like, I like that, that record. record. We all heard them lines yes, from Kendrick Lamar. Sir. It says Lamar's allegation was seemingly corroborated in a leaked email, which surfaced on Discord. Um, the unauthenticated email showed one of Drake's labels, Republic Records, attempting to block the release of the Like That record for radio play. So there was an email. Somebody Yeah, this is what uh, Metro Boomin had put up on his, uh, on his Twitter. Metro Boomin put this up. Uh, this was like everywhere in discords and all different types of stuff, man. I remember seeing this, uh, my homies posted this up in the discord and then, um, you know what I'm saying? And then Metro Boomin posted up like a look, like a couple of days ago or something like that because he was tired of Drake, uh, going at him. It was, uh, on the, uh, family matters. Drake put out family matters. So Metro Boomin put this out. He was like, all right, Drake, I got you. Boom. Slap this out. Uh, because Drake was trying to lie on family matters about, um, about never putting out a cease and desist and that, uh, Kendrick Lamar called up Tupac's estate to beg them to sue, uh, to sue Drake and get him to stop. Like, man, that's all cap, bro. That's all cap. Screenshotted it and it showed that, you know, Drake was sending a decent, uh, a cease and desist on that song. The article says a discord user claimed they obtained the email from a friend who works at Republic, Universal Music Group's vice president, uh, Corey Williams, supposedly sent the email to Epic Records executive Becca Connolly. Drake and Metro both have deals with uh, Republic, which is a subsidiary, a smaller company under UMG. It says um, uh, if the email is legitimate, efforts to hamper the like that song were unsuccessful. The song still received plenty of radio play and debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Good. Now, Shoot. Drake addressed this, you guys. Remember in the song that he replied to Kendrick Lamar, he said, a cease and desist is for hoes. Can't listen to the lies that come out your mouth. You called the Tupac estate and See? begged them to sue me to get that itch down. Just I'm losing perspective it. on beef. Boy wanted to send uh, the beat and I'll kill you for fun. I now, just said it. it's I being reported that. that Kendrick Lamar claiming that Drake sent the cease and desist is actually... Uh, the truth and Drake, you know, um, receiving the cease and desist letter from Tupac and claiming that Kendrick sent Tupac's estate to give him the cease and desist was not true. So mm. apparently Kendrick Lamar is telling the truth and Drake is telling lies and it's being reported as true. Now, dang, that man Drake be capping, bro. Like, God dang, bro. Come on, man. You ain't got to cap this hard, Drake, bro. I know, I know, I know, Drake. I know your your career has been like, falling 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 or getting messed up and you be taking a lot of hits especially with these pedo allegations boy but you you didn't have to make up bullshit just to get at kendrick bro like if you would have just kept it 100 you know what i'm saying that that that's exactly what k dot said as long as you keep it truthful about what he has to say then he won't 
tell the shit that he knows about you and then you didn't want to keep it truthful, bro. So uh the article says that Drake received a cease and desist from Tupac's estate, but it was over using Tupac's voice and profiting off of it. Now I'm gonna read you guys this article. This is crazy. Which they should have sued Tupac's him. Tupac's estate actually wants money from Drake informally and off the record. Man. You know, so this is crazy. Check this out. It says uh in a cease and desist letter to Drake obtained by Billboard, the late rapper's estate, Tupac's estate, is deeply dismayed. That's a quote they have. Deeply dismayed and would never have given its approval. Mm -hmm. They said they would never give Drake approval to use Tupac's voice. The article says Tupac Shakur's estate has threatened to sue Drake over the diss track against Kendrick Lamar that Good. featured the AI-generated version of Tupac's voice, calling it a flagrant violation of law and blatant abuse of Tupac's legacy. Mm. Uh, in the cease and desist, it says this. Um, it says that he must confirm that he will, he was he was required to confirm that he will pull down the Taylor made freestyle song in less than 24 hours, or the estate will pursue all of his legal remedies against him. So he had 24 hours. They pressed the issue like, bro, you got 24 hours to take that down, or we're gonna have an issue. Um, this is a quote from the letter that Tupac's estate wrote to Drake. Said the estate is deeply dismayed and disappointed by your unauthorized use of Tupac's voice and personality. Not only is this a flagrant uh, violation of Tupac's publicity, publicity, excuse me, and the estate's legal rights, it's also a blatant abuse of the legacy of one of the greatest hip hop artists of all time. Right. The estate would have never given its approval for your for this use. And and that's the crazy part too. Is like, why would you use? A West Coast rapper like Tupac, one of the biggest uh, rappers to re uh, to represent the West Coast, to diss another West Coast legend, bro. Because Kendrick's is a, a West Coast legend, bro. He, it's it's already gonna be solidified. That nigga's about to be a West Coast legend. Um, it, to me, he already is. So, but um, why would you do that, bro? You know damn well Tupac ex estate. Is never gonna let that happen, bro. If you would have asked them, that hell no would have been the, probably the answer that came out their mouth, bro. I mean, Drake crazy. Uh, in Tuesday's letter, it said that uh, Tupac's estate warned Drake that the use of his they voice clearly him? violated his pub. Uh, excuse uh, me, I, I have trouble saying that word. Publicity rights, uh, the legal power to control how your too. image or likeness is used by others. Still did it. Um, and they took particular exception to the use of this voice to take shots at Kendrick Lamar. So Kendrick Lamar didn't call them. They had an issue because they have a relationship probably with Kendrick, mm -hmm. and they don't like that you use his voice specifically to take shots at Kendrick Lamar. So salute to Tupac's estate and Tupac's family saying, you know what, we don't even like, not only did we not like that you use Tupac's voice, which is illegal, but you also used it to diss Kendrick, and we would have never approved nothing like that. We wouldn't approve hmm. you to use it anyway, but we definitely wouldn't approve you to take shots at Kendrick with it. The quote, um, or this is from the letter, it says, The unauthorized, equally dismaying use of Tupac's voice against Kendrick Lamar, a good friend of the estate, who has given nothing but respect to Tupac and his legacy publicly and privately, compounds the insult. So they saying, that's more insulting. It was already insulting that you did it, but it's more insulting that you use Kendrick or that you diss Kendrick with it. It that's says a I'm representative saying. from Drake declined to comment on the demands of the Tupac Shakur estate. The, uh, Quote says, it's hard to believe that Tupac's record label, his in his intellectual property was not scraped to create the fake AI on the record. Um, they also demand that Drake provided a detailed explanation for how the sound alike was created and the persons or company that created it, including all recordings and other data scraped or used. So they saying, bro, not. Oh, my God. So they trying not not just get at Drake. They're going to try to get at the people who also helped this man create the Tupac voice and everything. The AI of Tupac and all that, man. That's crazy, bro. This, this is going to probably be huge, bro. If they if they do get to suing him because he didn't take down TaylorMade and he doesn't pay up, this is probably going to be a big case, bro. Not only do we want you to take it down, we want you to tell us how you made it. Tell us who made it for you so we can sue them, too, and extort them, too. We're about to press the issue on all y'all. All y'all about to pay up for what y'all did. Yo, they all, um, they all about when, to get it, bro. Wednesday's letter also pointed out, oh, excuse me, 
uh, pointedly highlighted that Drake himself has made previous objections to the use of his own likeness by others. So basically, Drake, you don't like when people use your voice and use, you know, your brand, and you did this to us anyway. That's what hypocrite, they say. Hypocrite, right bro. He's a hypocrite. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's go down. Uh, King pointed, this is Tupac's estate. Uh, Tupac's estate pointed to the lesser known federal lawsuit in which Drake's attorney accused a website of using his image without authorization. So basically, Drake, you being a hypocrite is what they're saying right here. I call uh, it, it like I the see Taylor it, bro. Freestyle generated I can't make well this shit up. I call it like I see it, bro. At this point. The point that they stopped it, it was already hitting over a million streams and had been widely reported uh, in the general, general national press and popular entertainment websites and publications. Basically, there was no coming back. They stating that so they could say it was no coming back. It was already out there, bro. So mm -hmm. people could have recorded it. People have it now. So... You know, yeah. you got to pay up for that, too. Uh, the quote went on to say, without question, it is exponentially more serious and damaging than a picture of you with some other people on a low volume website. So basically, Drake, you got mad because somebody posted a fake picture with you and you sued for that. But this is even more damaged than, damaging than what you did. Facts, so if you sued and, and won for that. We're going to sue and win for this. And we know it. So it says in the closing paragraph, the letter demanded written confirmation mm -hmm. by noon uh, Pacific time on that day that Drake's representatives were expeditiously, uh, expeditiously taking all the steps necessary to have it removed. It said, this is the quote. This is what they told Drake right here. Check this out. If you comply, the state will consider whether an informal negotiation to resolve this matter makes sense. So, bro, basically, if you do everything we're telling you to do, then we'll consider, we'll think about if we can keep this off the, uh, off the record and you can just pay us money behind the scenes. We'll God, think about it. Bro, you know, the if you do everything we tell ass, you to do bro, no that we bitty. just told you, we'll think about if we don't want to go public with a lawsuit on you. Stay on his it's ass, that, boy. If you do not comply, this is what the letter says from Tupac's estate to Drake. If you do not comply, our client has authorized this firm to pursue all of its legal remedies, including but not limited to an action for violation of the state's copyright, publicity, and personality rights, and the resulting damages injunctive relief and punitive damages and attorney fees uh bro drake you need you just need to do it you just need to do what they say do what they say drake because they are on your ass nigga no diddy bro straight up bro because if you go if you don't do this they're gonna get on you and the people who made and who helped you made the ai tupac voice man that's crazy, bro. And that, and you don't want that to be out there of the people who made it, bro. You don't want that to be out there because that's going to fuck them up too, bro. So you need to just do what they say and comply with it, bro. Like straight up. Uh, attorney fees. That's what they were going to sue Drake for. You know, so basically if you don't do everything we tell you to do, bro, we're going to sue you for all those different things and it's going to be a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Or you can quietly do what we tell you to do and behind the scenes, you can give us a little payment and we won't go public with it. But either way, you're going to pay us. So basically, that's what they're saying. Bro. Tupac's estate wasn't playing no games. Um, they didn't like the fact that, you know, Drake used Tupac's voice, but they also didn't like the fact that, you know, it, they said it was doubly insulting that you used Tupac's voice to For, diss Kendrick Lamar yeah. and we love Kendrick. Yo, man, y'all, I know y'all seeing this, bro. This is crazy, bro. And we all know Drake got more than enough money. He just he just signed that deal with UMG, $400 million. J Just give them, what, 20 mil, Drake, whatever whatever they ask, 20 mil, 50 mil, whatever. You still got more than enough money, bro. You got more than enough money. So they stood on business for Kendrick, bro. And basically they said, you do everything we tell you to do from now on regarding this situation or... We're going to go public with the lawsuit. Now, mm -hmm. you're going to pay us regardless. It said it right here. Whether in, whether in, If you comply, the state the state will consider whether an informal negotiation to resolve this matter makes sense. If not, uh, we've hired a firm to pursue all the legal remedies. So basically, that's the situation that was Drake, Drake if, was in. Um, basically, so this is what Suge Knight them, had to say about the situation. Suge called they'll home try to jail. Make agreement. He spoke about Drake using Tupac's voice on the AI disc. And this is what he had to say. Check it out. Hey, y'all you know, y'all people do what y'all people do, it's y'all turn. But, my little homie Pop, you ain't no joke. Ben, you damn sure ain't no joke. 
I'll be me and I'll be jumping down. Put him on a song with M. Diss and Kendrick. I'll be everybody in entertainment. And then I'll go. Poor ass putting him on a song with Snoop. Who was a part of his uh, downfall. His exit. And never a good look. Uh, king on that chessboard. He never was a pawn, so he can't make to be a pawn now. But the West Coast, it's a whole state, of real game members of all colors, all races. You want them coming together? Hmm. That's your win. So that's what Suge Knight had to say about the situation. He said, Drake, you don't do that. You know what I mean? That's not a good look. You can't never use Tupac as a pawn, especially not against Kendrick Lamar. Out of all people, Suge said, you know, and he said, uh, you know, you don't want to wake California up because California ain't just L.A. California is the Bay, too. And mm -hmm. that's why Kendrick is saying the lines, you know, you think the Bay gonna let you, let you disrespect Pac? Pac? <laughs> the Bay Area ain't gonna let you disrespect Pac. It's not nah, just LA, bro. So from just up LA. top to all the way down bottom in California, you know, they felt like it was disrespectful. So Yeah, we all in California, we all thought it was disrespectful. I'm in Southern California, big dog. Northern California thought it was disrespectful. Everybody in California thought that shit was disrespectful, bro. We we do not condone that shit Pac was a legend represent cali for us that's a real one he was a king like like shook uh shook and i said he was a king you can't use a king as a palm bro it don't work that way big dog i'm sorry and you and you used the wrong legend to do that shit with especially against another west coast legend bro that was the wrong move bro that's what happened, man. That's what was reported. That's what Suge Knight said about the situation. You know, obviously, Drake had to probably settle behind the scenes or is going to have to settle behind the scenes if he doesn't want a public lawsuit. Um, but I think he should have moved a little smarter. I think it was an, an emotional decision and he was just trying to do what was cool. And he probably thought because he's Drake, everybody would be cool with it. But he made a, a huge misstep and a miscalculation in that and he got spanked for it, bro. So that's how I feel about it. Urban Legend 11s. If this so yeah, that's it right there, guys. Uh, shout out to my boy, Urban Legend, Will Evans, uh, for the breakdown right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys did, then make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you hit that notification bell to be part of that notification gang. And let me know in the comment section what you guys think of, of this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.